This tutorial is an alternative way for you to make a low poly version of your shield. All right. So this would be something that after you've gone through and you've assigned materials to your object, then you go and you make a clone, right? And I'm going to call this shield underscore LP. And I make sure I make it as a copy and say, OK, and I right click and hide unselected. In the main tutorial, I have you go to Edit Spline down in the sub-object underneath and manipulate it. But in some cases, you may have already taken this model and collapsed it into an Edit Poly. Now, if that's the case, uh, you don't have to panic. This is something we could totally manage with, and we can work on converting a low-poly shield that's an Edit Poly. Uh, I'm sorry, a low-poly a low poly we can easily make if it's it doesn't have to be a spline I guess is my point so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go into edit poly and I'm gonna go into edge mode now edge mode is gonna make a set of tools called these loop tools now you'll find them up here and the modeling ribbon and you can actually click on that and move it out to kind of pop it out so it's kind of floating here I'm gonna I had previously floated this uh, edit one when I was doing subdivision work. I'm going to put him back. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to, I'm just going to click F on my keyboard to make a front view and press F4 to show edged faces. What I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully select these edges by clicking a negative space and dragging. And then in my loops, I'm going to click on remove. Now what that does is if I go to vertex, is that removes both edges and vertex points. So if I grab these edges here and grab loop, you'll see if I was to just use the remove button under edit edges, see how the geometry is still there? All that does is remove the visual edge. What I need is this remove loop button because that gets rid of edges and vertex points. So what I'm doing here is going through and I'm optimizing down my model by removing all of that extra geometry from those loops. All right. So that's going through, and as I'm looking at it, I'm realizing this is making it very straight. I'm lo losing a little bit of the form, so maybe I'll get undo that and not be quite so aggressive. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Instead, I'm going to come through, region select, but I'm just going to deselect one of these, the one at the very top. For, oops. Try it again. Grab all of them. Ah. There we go. Go back in, region select, zoom in, and deselect the top one and hit remove. There we go. So now this will this will keep some of the form. And if I just hit Z, it'll zoom in on what I have selected. Deselect just that top one, or it doesn't even have to be the top one as long as it's one of those near the top. Z to zoom in. Deselect one and hit remove. Z to zoom in. Deselect one up here, hit remove. Z to zoom in, get rid of one up here. All right, it's looking pretty good. Let's uh, click over here and say restore viewport. Now I can look here in perspective at my overall model, kind of take a look at it. And I think what I'll want to do is if I come in here, I'm going to want to get like all these guys down here. I'm going to take all of that and I'm going to get rid of those. And then if I was to look at this from the side, then see how it kind of comes out straight to that point. I'm going to grab. So one, two, remove those. One, two, remove those. All right. If I was to come over here, go into more and select my polygon counter, That'll show me I'm at 3,760 3, polygons on this selected object. Let's go back out here. Go back to Edge. You see our Edge tools pop back. We can zoom out. Now let's take a look. Let's take a look at the this main shape that's right here. All right. Go into Edge. I'm just going to grab a bunch of these here. I just hit Z to zoom in on it. So you can see there's a lot of extra geometry in there. I want to kind of keep in. Let's hit Z to zoom in. 
All right, there's a lot of vertices down here at the bottom. Oops. So I will probably, let's see if I click zoom here. There we go. So I want to just keep this outer edge. I'm going to grab the rest of these edges and I'm going to remove those. And see that takes out a bunch of geometry for me. You can probably get rid of this one too actually at the bottom. Yeah, it was dipping down pretty deep there. That looks a little bit better. Zoom out, let's orbit around it. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. Uh, another thing I can do to get this down more, I probably don't need quite as much geometry out here. I could probably get rid of these two and it'll still look really good. See how it still keeps its shape really well. Another option, let's double click, where is this guy? So that's the bottom of that cylinder. Okay, all right, so next thing we're gonna do here, I'm gonna make this go up here plus, maximize. Let's go in and what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna select this edge here, and I'm gonna go modify selection, and I'm looking for an option called dot ring. Now to be an edit, to be an edge mode for this, select that, modify selection, dot ring. That's gonna grab every other edge, and then I can hit remove loop. And see this takes it down to 920 it still has a great looking shape right like it still is really good it's a little bit of facets here and there but that's not bad like this is really solid looking i think it's a pretty good looking shield at this point it's nice it's simple it's low poly it's not taking up too much memory i'm gonna hit f to for front and then p for perspective there we go all right so he's looking really good at this point the next step would be to just put a uvw map on him and change the alignment so you're getting a nice square view of it. You can see here the handle on it is at the bottom. So I'll go into Gizmo and go into Rotate and then Rotate 90, 180 degrees. Right click and convert that at Poly. And now when I put an Unwrap UVW on this guy and open it in the UV editor, we're just going to do, I'm in Polygon. I want to say select inverted polygons and see the whole thing is flipped. It's inside out. So I'm going to use my mirror button to mirror it left, right, and then select it, select everything again and say tools, relax, and just say start relax. Now kind of relax those to make sure all the polygons are getting the best possible shape they can. And if I hold the hold control and pull this corner in, that'll scale it uniformly. And I don't, I just don't want to make sure it's not, overlapping on the edge and if I bring it in a little bit from the sides it just makes the gives it make the UVs a little cleaner so uh, I'm gonna right click and convert to edit poly if I orbit around you can see from behind there's nothing there sometimes when uh, students are making shields what will happen is they'll actually have a big polygon on the back side so you would have run into problems with your UV unwrapping if that's what that was the case so from here, I'm just going to put an edit poly on and I'm going to say file export and I'm going to export selected because I just want to export out the shield and I'm just going to call it shield mesh underscore LP for low poly, say save. And I'm just going to use my settings from before or if this is your first time, you do media and entertainment. And the only thing you want to do is maybe turn on smoothing groups, but I'll just say okay that exports it out at this point you can go back to the main tutorial the part two tutorial and if you jump in around nine minutes uh, you'll see the other version of the shield being exported out and you could just pick it up from there with uh, the hiding uh, unhiding everything oops unhiding everything Hiding the low poly. You'll also, uh, up here at the top, you'll want to do LP underscore shield mesh. And that'll be your, your new low poly shield so it's easy to select. All right. So, yeah, jump into that other tutorial to finish it off.